Nissi, 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 where are you? Where are you? Azraya, where the hell are you? Where the flip was Riva? Where is Adrian? Where was Aya? Where was Nunu at this flipping point? Because I can't take it anymore. I am done and I am so flipping pissed off at this point. Jesus, this is gonna be a very long review. Do you really think all these billionaires are making their money just from their own soul hard work? Do you know how long it will take you as an individual to even become a billionaire without even corrupting anybody? It will not even happen in your lifetime. The understanding, the realization of how, what it actually takes for somebody to even become a billionaire, the corruption that actually takes place, it is ridiculous. All this alleged corruption that happens with these people, it is dire. Like. It's, it, it's crazy, like nobody get made, makes, all, all the people that have made all this money, they don't make all this money just from their own hard work, they do it from exploiting individuals, exploiting departments, people, invasion of privacy, breaking laws, not paying taxes, avoiding taxes, this is what people do when it comes to this level of wealth, for sure. And the fact that people, that wasn't even discussed in this conversation is what I'm really irritated about because people have now assumed that these guys are everyone and they're godlike people and we should run to them. Child, that's not how it is. It may appear like that, but that is not how it is at all. And I just felt like we needed more from this conversation. The topic was great, but we did not have the right people. Go, go, okay, cool. Be money, okay, cool. Catherine, okay, cool. But I wanted Flipping Riva there, and I wanted also Lucas there because he's performed well in this conversation. And I also wanted other individuals from past seasons. I just kind of wanted that kind of conversation. And I feel like they should have, I just wish, I wish, they wish, they wish we had some kind of sector of conversation within this debate where they spoke about the corruption of billionaires and how they do tax avoidance, how they exploit people, they exploit their workers, they avoid rules, they avoid regulation, they avoid so many laws, invasion of privacy laws, they didn't even speak about how Zuckerberg was in court for so long, none of that was even addressed. And I just wish they touched on that, guys. I just wish they did. And it's just really pissed me off because how can you not even, like, bro, <laughs> certain manner of placing money, when you look at Zuckerberg and you look at Bill Gates, yeah, yeah. they have so much money that it's never a cut into my bread thing. Because yeah. the, the money they have is exponential. But they can, but they can feel like, oh, a million on. can make you feel like yeah, that. Yeah, but I know, I know, I know. I'm not saying about the money, but I'm saying to them, them giving you information or an insight into how to raise your own money, not even giving you the money in your own pocket, isn't cutting into their own bread. We spent time with these people, we could really elevate our lives and, um, just open ourselves to new ways of thinking, because I feel like some- I don't know, because I don't, those, are, those are the people that I, I look to. You are underestimating the power of a million pounds. I think Lani was saying a million is not, is not a lot. Like, are you mad? A million is not a lot. Like, I don't understand. Like, how are you living now? I'm sure you're not a millionaire. And the money you're, you are making, you're paying your rent. You're getting this crown on your head every damn day. You've got your makeup, you've got your clothes, you go to work every day, you pay for your, you know, whatever you want to pay for. That is a lot of money. And you're, so much so that it's your livable on it. The fact that anybody in that East London kitchen can even believe that they could even reach the level of Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, or Jeff Bezos, or any billionaire without any form of exploitation, which is what is used as one of the main crafts to become a billionaire, then they are simply delusional because there's no other way that you can do it. Therefore, making it effortlessly pointless for you to even have a conversation with them, number one. Number two, you may be able to receive that information. You may be able to receive the information that they are giving you, but if you don't know how to apply one million pounds for advancements and investments, what the hell makes you think that you're going to apply the knowledge that you have received through verbiage of Mark Zuckerberg or Jeff or Bill Gates? Like, come on, like, it's, it's common sense at this point. It's literally common sense. Spending a year with them is okay, a very long time, and I can see the other people's points. But at the same time, you are spending a year with people, you are just receiving knowledge, maybe an internship, you can obviously use that to your, you know, ability and you can and it can definitely take you places not that it can't take you anywhere but understand that you are working with billionaires who have exploited and i've got to that level through exploitation through using other people through crafts and jeff is definitely one example michael zuckerberg is, has definitely violated a lot of regulations and rules especially in the us so the fact that that wasn't even put into conversation about what mark zuckerberg has actually been doing when it comes to privacy laws i also find to be quite shocking because i believe that to definitely have gone in there Hey guys, it's Murad Murali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. If you haven't already, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, Murad underscore Murali. Click that subscription button, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And let's get into this video because there seems to be a lot to talk about. Now, 
the, no disrespect to the cast of Backchat. I do believe this was probably one of the most disappointing episodes of the season. The reason being is because this was obviously a very good topic to discuss, but unfortunately the candidates presence weren't able to discuss it at a level that we could actually have a full on conversation. Knowledge is not free because people make money off your knowledge. Same way, if you're going to go to these Mark Zuckerberg, you think they're going to give, hand out knowledge for you just like that? I've never grown up to, 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 to care how to get money. I just need the ah. money. No, it's yeah, about, yeah. Money. Now, I don't mean to shade or disrespect any of you guys. If you're aware that some of the cast do watch my videos. So, of course, let me reiterate, none of this is personal. This is just commentary, as I've always done from the get-go. And that is it. Now, of course, the question that lined up was, you know, would you rather spend a year with um, the other quote? Now, the question that obviously lined up was that would you rather spend a year with Mark Zuckerberg or with Bill Gates or, you know, Jeff Bezos from Amazon, whatever, any billionaire, or would you rather take a million pounds and go on it yourself? I do like Catherine and I do feel like she does, you know, speak a lot, but unfortunately from this episode, I expected better from her and, and she did not deliver. It, it is what it is. Unfortunately, I believe that Catherine did, did not deliver to the point where she needed to. Again, B Money is coming with a sense and I feel like he is the only guy on that team, apart from Gogo, that really comes in and hits the nail on the head. And I like it when he does because I feel like it's something that is consistent. DC, DC. It's not every day by force that you're showing these red bottoms, please. It's not every day. Put your shoes down, put your shoe zone, shoes down, please. Whether they're red bottoms or not, it's not that serious. Please, just take the shoes down and continue to debate because I don't know what this kind of force mentality is. Can you imagine if I'm doing my video and I'm putting my shoe up here on this damn kitchen table as I'm, I'm flipping recording for you? The same table that I'm creating food on is the same table that I'm putting my shoes on. The shoes that I've been outside where I've been collecting dirt and now putting it on the damn table so that it can mix with my food, mix with the hygiene and mix with salmonella and we can all go sleep together. This is basically what's happening and I just, listen, I'm over it. Like I just feel like that in itself was way too much. We had this quote by Yasmin. I actually write this quote down because I don't know what the hell she was saying. Uh, I feel like everybody just pissed me off this episode. Yasmin was saying, um, I don't care how we how to get the money, but I need the money. I've never grown up to, 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 to care how to get money. I just need the ah. money. No, it's yeah, about, yeah. Like think... What kind of flawed, embarrassing mentality is that to even have as a grown adult? I don't care how to get the money. I just want the money. Now, that I'm not trying to negate that to, oh, you want to do work of line that isn't respected. That is definitely not what I'm trying to attribute the statement to you or, what I'm, or my frustration. But what I'm saying is to be a grown adult and for you to have this mentality, beloved, you can go and have your year internship with them or you take the million pounds, you're gonna lose both weights. Because clearly the fact that you don't even care how to even get money to save, to invest, like do you know what you can do with a million pounds? You wanna just get it and, and you, you, I would assume from that quote that you would be somebody who would just spill the money left, right and center and then just be confused. I'm gonna jacket off now because the way this topic and this this, this episode heated me, child, I'm over it. Guys, I'm actually over it. I'm over it. Like, do you know what you can do with a million pounds? Like, everybody's saying, oh, you know, you can't buy houses, they're so expensive. Who said to buy a house and flip in London? You can buy at least three to five houses with that money outside of London, in the UK, in certain potential areas that are definitely going to be on the rise. There's plenty of places to go all over the UK and even other places in Europe as well, you can even buy as well. Like, people don't even know what they're talking about. And of course, you need to obviously gain financial literacy to have this kind of knowledge. And for DC to say himself, that he has no idea that knowledge is free. <laughs> wow. Evlani, who obviously makes a very good point, talks about shadowing, talks about internships. She brought in a different avenue. Although I didn't agree with her entire point and what she was making, I like the fact that she brought in a different stance and what she was saying. But at the same time, I do feel like she's overestimating this year internship with Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates. I don't feel like it's going to provide you any more knowledge than what you think. The fact that you don't even know or don't even understand how to apply, you know, the one million pounds, but suddenly you'll be able to receive information from them. Re understand that having a conversation and receiving the information, receiving information for somebody and then applying it and creating an existing amount of you know financial potential are two different things. I could literally sit here, write notes down with people and whatever, and it could inspire me to then make that shift of existence, but perhaps it could not as well. How many times do we have you know PTs? Do we not have teachers who be teaching us stuff, biology, chemistry, and you know, physics and whatever, and we may not really have the interest in it, but then, do we obviously put that into existence? The likeliness is that we don't because a lot of us don't really have that much interest in this stuff. Now, they may want to say, oh, you know, Mark Zuckerberg, you know, Bill Gates, 
they're billionaires, there's an interest there, but then that year internship that you're going to have with them, will they even provide information that you might even need? That's not even guaranteed. It's a definitely big risk. Whereas a million pounds, you have that money with you. You have it with you. And knowledge is free, especially online, especially in the libraries, and you can learn how to move a million pounds very easily if you stick your mind to it and be consistent and be disciplined you can definitely do it but with a year internship you're not really guaranteed it reminds me of a tweet where somebody said would you rather have 50k or pick jay-z's brain and you know somebody said i'd rather pick jay-z's brain for them 15 or an hour or like a couple year days whatever it was and everybody cussed him out and that tweet has you know literally been cemented in twitter london history for that nonsense of what he said because it doesn't make any sense like why would you, why would you do that now this topic in itself is actually very good because it creates conversation and there actually are pros on both sides. I can see the pros on the side. You can get an inter internship, get that on your CV. You can obviously learn information. Maybe you will create your own avenue. Maybe you will profit off something. Maybe you can become something or take the million pounds. You can invest it in the right way, if, especially if you have financial literacy and you are mature enough to do so. There are pros and cons on both sides of this debate, which is why this topic, I feel, is probably one of the best topics of the season. However, they needed to have the flipping right people on this damn episode and they did not have that and I'm irritated. I wanted to see Reva. Where is Reva? I don't understand. Bring back flipping Adrian. Even bring back Missy for goodness sake. If you can bring back Omar from the damn road. If Chad Omar got his bus ticket and he's here, I'm pretty sure Missy can come over in an Uber as well. Bring back individuals who actually carry a lot of intelligence and I feel like Catherine didn't speak that much in this video, he wasn't vocalizing as much and I wanted more from her. I'm glad that the money was speaking and I'm glad that he was there and I understood what Gogo was saying but at the same time you know me personally i would definitely pick the million pounds because i would definitely know how to save and invest that money child 100 whereas yeah internship there may be days or weeks or you know times i'm just not interested in learning from them maybe i'll get used to it. maybe it's boring maybe the information they're feeding me something that i just don't want maybe the information that they give me i can't apply that to what i like there is a chance and it's definitely a risk. Now there are pros and cons on both sides. I wanna reiterate that because I'm not saying one side is completely wrong. Of course, you can be successful from both sides, but I feel like the high likeliness is from the million pounds because then you, I assume the individual has financial literacy and is able to learn. People like Yasmin, the comments that she's making about how I don't care about how to get money, I just want to get the money. I can't get over that because that to me, were like I was, I was really gobsmacked about, I was like, make, like as Sylvia says, every flipping episode, make it make sense because clearly she definitely wasn't and I find it to be profound. I feel like Omar does speak a lot. He gives the impression that he's about to come with a lot of sense, but he doesn't. So I'm glad that the money cut him up on that part. Why is he wearing an AirPod in his ear? I don't understand why he's wearing an AirPod in his ear. If you are in a debate room with somebody and you're ready to debate with them, why am I wearing headphones? Why am I listening to that's even more important? I don't understand. What is this flex, this look? I don't get it myself personally that I need to be wearing an AirPod to, you know, I'm having a conscious conversation with people. I'm sitting down with people. I'm having a conversation with you, a debate, an interesting point. I want to hear your perspectives and points. Why am I headphones? I may not be listening to anything, but what does that do? I don't understand. It's this kind of droopy, droopy kind of like, I don't even know, child, but it just, it, doing too much i don't even know doing too much but in terms of you know everybody dressing up everybody's i've seen um, critiques of why why do they dress up why are they doing the most why are they wearing so much i can see what people say but at the same time if you are going to be on a platform that's going to be seen by many people you'd want to look good period you can do it in better ways yes i feel like a lot of them do the most but you know they should be dressing up and looking great but i feel like some of them do a lot but it's, there's no harm in looking good especially when it's going to go on a um platform that many people are going to see let me know your thoughts on when it comes to this video it's a bit heated from my end because i just was very confused and flustered lost my interest in half the way up is it what are your thoughts when it comes to this what side do you think is correct do you think there's i feel like both have correct sides both are pros but i feel like the millionaire part it just makes more clerical sense alongside getting financial literacy you can use that money to also be taught to an extent or library or knowledge is free yes you can have a year internship with these two individuals but at the same time there's a risk that the knowledge that they'll, that they'll give you, you won't even apply. How many degrees do we all have that we don't apply, that we don't use, or that we don't utilize, and we go into a complete different sector or department? We don't actually apply that information. We can, this is what I'm saying. There's a difference between receiving and applying and making into a physical existence that can benefit you. There's a very big difference. I can sit with Jay-Z, for example, as that tweet was saying ages ago. He can give me all the information. I can take it, take it, take it, but then, what he cannot teach me is how I'm going to apply that to a, a physical kind of existence of abundance of success or money or whatever. That's on me. And maybe I won't do it. Maybe I will do it. Maybe there's risk. Maybe there's confusion. Like, 
like I, I just I don't know it's confusing it's an interesting topic but I just feel like we should have had better individuals you know going in Mark Zuckerberg going with these billionaires is going to be pointless you're not going to learn anything your net worth is obviously your kind of like net worth if your network it can help with your wealth for sure 110 percent there's no denial in that and it can definitely leverage you to places that you never thought you could reach I'm literally listing you pros from both sides to give you an, an objective kind of you know approach to this video as well as being entitled to give my bias kind of side as well and what I would go for but what I'm saying to you is you can reach leverages you can go as far as you can you know you're with them for a whole year it's a very long time but at the same time them taking you to places and beyond the stars and whatever child you want to go is not guaranteed it is a risk it is a gamble by all means some risks can be successful and you can go for that but what is guaranteed is that one million pounds it's in your hands it's guaranteed you are now a millionaire now I'm sure if you are saying oh you know I can learn with them I can be clever I can apply their knowledge then why can't somebody apply their knowledge with a million pounds you can do so much with that million from let alone buying a house as a child you can even do even more with that you can invest in the right sectors departments everywhere as long as you have that financial literacy you definitely do basically open doors for you because people begin to know and understand that you are a millionaire and that will even itself open up doors but you can leverage yourself in that department but my main issue with that is that it's a gamble it's a risk there's a chance that you could leave that internship without nothing because why do they owe you anything you know do they even need to tell you so much maybe they won't connect you with a network maybe you maybe they you will just shadow them and that's really it and then they won't do much for you maybe you don't have confidence skills maybe you have you know don't know how to interact with people maybe you do and you don't have the right verbiage skills like it could there's, there's so many different avenues that need to be placed into into a correct pathway and form for it to work great for you whereas in this stance that money is guaranteed it is there for you house in hull for 150k you can buy a house in um, Bridlington for 175 you can buy a house in Inverness for 105,000 you can buy a house and house rentals for 169 that's already four houses you bought and you can buy a pretty sure a little bit higher in slightly better areas um, you can buy a house in Bedford for 300,000 you can buy a house in Hull for 78,000